All right, here we are in my other shop that I use. I haven't used it all this winter because, I, like I said, I haven't been feeling well. But I had to come over here and get a couple of parts. And this is my nice brother's work that every time I go somewhere, he's got to stick a Cadillac in my workshop. Anyway, what I did was I had to come over here and get some parts. And I wanted to show you my other bike here, but it's not the bike I want to show you. Like I was, in the earlier videos, I showed you that this license tab right here, that you have to buy once a year for these bikes in this state. They send you a little letter stating you have to buy the, the next uh, up year date. So, this license plate on my gyro says in March of 2012 that after, after March, then this license is out of date. And so I can't drive it on the road or I'll get into trouble. So what I do is I take off this little, it's very, very, very thin, um, how could I say? Uh, it's like tin foil, but they've got they've got it made so that once you put it on, it kind of it welds itself to this other one right here. And when I put that on, this number right here, core, and you can tell it's completely different from the old one. But this number right here corresponds to this registration, and like uh, the registration that I have with the bike right now. And you're required to carry the registration on you. Most of the time, unless there's a big problem, the cops aren't going to ask you about that. It's just something they don't, uh, they want insurance. Now, in this state, you have to have insurance, which is good. On your cars, you don't have to have them on mopeds. I don't know about the bigger bikes. But I would suggest anyone that if you have a motorcycle, even if you're not required to have it, go out and spend the $35 or $70 to get covered for a year or six months. Because you never know some bullshit little Rube Goldberg snafu deal can happen once in a lifetime where someone's looking the wrong way and you try to avoid them and you hit some little old lady or or a, a car hits you or you run somebody over accidentally but it turns out that it's all your fault just some crazy once in a lifetime thing it's better to be covered and motorcycle insurance is not that expensive so even if you drive a moped and it does 20 or 30 miles an hour just Cover your ass ten ways to Sunday, because it'll it'll really wreck your day if if you're to blame for something, and you thought, damn, I should have just bought the insurance just in case. So what I'll do is I'll put this on here, stick it on here, and I will um, carry that registration on the bike with me, and then I'll be okay to drive it. That's one part. But I also need um, insurance. So I just want to show you how we do it in this state, in the United States. I don't know how they do it in other states. But this is for um, Sir Penza in, in China. Because he had some pretty cool license plates. And I don't know how they do it over there. All right.